y'all had. I hope everybody's feeling good and great and all that other shit. You had a great motherfucking weekend. It's a long ass motherfucking weekend. And we live, bitch. I'm live in motherfucking Times Square. I rode my bike down here. Whatever. It's kind of, I don't know. The weird, it was nicer yesterday, but whatever. Um, big old freak. Big booty, big old tree. I'm gonna make wait for the pussy. Give it up, big old tree. Ah, ah, ah. Feet on the bed. I'm gonna fuck him up in the head. Suck him in, fuck him in, drunk him in, drunk him in, drunk him in. I'm gonna leave him all red. Ah. I don't want to, yo, y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into it. So look. Now y'all know I'm a hip hop head. Y'all already know that. That's why I do the hip hop motherfucking intro. I be giving up to girls who's already like who got rubbing out that freaky hot shit. So anyway, um, it was just well the the internet is going crazy over Freddie Gibbs. Y'all know about Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs is a hip hop artist and he is a really good lyricist. Like he he he's a great lyricist and. Uh, it just came out, you know, he was dating this, uh, the, a porn star. He accepted this bitch sucking dick and fucking and all this other shit. That was her job. You know what I'm saying? Um, then this bitch get pregnant, and then he don't want to fuck with her no more, right? And, or he done ghost her, whatever the fuck. And she done put out that he spread his ass cheeks or some shit and sent her a picture or something. Now look. Now, just follow him. Like, he be doing a little funny shit, whatever. So, I'm thinking. Now, this is just me thinking, right? Because she also said, I heard a video where she said, like, they ain't never did no anal play. She ain't never licked his ass. She ain't never did none of that shit. Like, he, she said, no, I don't think he gay or no shit like that. But, considering that he had just ghosted her and he did that, I was like, maybe he was. Now, this is just me, you know, just thinking, hypothetically speaking, that he just did it as a joke. Like, Bitch, suck, suck my asshole with shit coming out. Like, that's what I think that he probably was saying. You know what I'm saying? Because why is what he's saying? And then also, y- y'all black men, you see? You see? When y'all be fucking with these motherfucking manlings and, and Karens and Marias and all this other shit and how they do, how they be doing y'all motherfuckers dirty, 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 dirty. This bitch now, ain't no, it wouldn't even make no sense for you to come out and do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But then again, a lot of people try to go viral and all this whole shit and, um, you know, I guess get some, some attention to their platform or whatnot. But that was some dirty ass shit that you did. I mean, yeah, you ain't the only bitch that's been left. You know what I'm saying? Who got pregnant and motherfucking left? Bitch, you gonna have to motherfucking put your big panty girl panties on and get it motherfucking popping. And that's just it. That's just how this shit motherfucker going. Raise your chop. Hey, girl, her name is Destiny. I wonder if you have a girl like, I wonder what her conversation would be. Why is these motherfuckers all... Girl! Did you please get out of my shot? This bitch gonna make me hear her in her face. The fuck? So anyway, um... Yes, I be cussing motherfuckers out. I do not care. Like what? I mean, I know y'all ain't from here and all this shit. I'm busy right now. I'm sorry. Um, so look, why? Uh, so he, she did, and she showed that to everybody. Like, why you do that? That was that's grimy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what the fuck is the the point and the purpose of you doing that shit? You know what I'm saying? It was just that was just grimy. But I do wonder how she gonna raise her, if she have a daughter, like, or even a son, like, how you gonna raise them? Especially due to the fact that you were in, uh, you know, you was a, a, a porn star. Now look, I, were, I was in the, in the sex industry too. Like, my son know about me. He know what I did, I was exotic dance, or I host swinger parties, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, a stylist on pornographic films, he know all that shit. But, and I just wonder, and, and I'm not shaming her for doing that, but women who do that though, like, yo, I don't know, how do you get, I, that's just, everybody is fucking different. I don't know if people retarded or what, I think they are. Um, like, how, how she gonna explain that to to her, her child, her profession, or will she keep it away from them? You know what I'm saying? She probably, I, I don't know. But y'all thought that that was some dirty ass shit that she did and I don't even understand the point of it. And they go around here calling that motherfucker spready gives. When I say that shit, not spready gives. That's that bullshit. 
<laughs> that is that real live bullshit. Yo, what y'all think? Do y'all think that this girl was grabby for doing that shit? Like, for just exposing him like that? Like, do you? Like, I mean, what, what is? I never understood that. But then again, please keep that in mind that she said that they never had no anal play. They, you know, she ain't never stuck that in his butt. None of that. But I guess he sent her a picture of his asshole. I guess he, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck that means. But for, for her to put it on blast or on, on the internet, meaning that this shit was never going away. But what was the, what's the point of that shit? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, please, if I, uh, well, you know, my name is Real, and I'm an intimacy coach slash seductive, and I'm having one third of seductive art, which is ES, that's my erotic, sensual, and seductive dance. Where I will be teaching, um, you know, we'll be doing sexy stretches. We're gonna work out. We're gonna do sit up squats, et cetera, twerk. That's twerking is a good form of uh, exercise. Uh, then we're gonna put on our heels. I'm gonna teach you how to walk in heels with with technique and also confidence. We're gonna talk about shoe maintenance, all that, and then then we dance. But it's gonna be soft. We'll teach you how to be soft and, and tap into your divine feminine energy and sexy. Because it doesn't take a lot to make a man's dick hard, ladies. If you if you already got him in the room and his eye and he focused on you, or even if you were if you were entertainer, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a ways where you can captivate, motherfucker. That's what you wanna do, captivate to get that dick back. You know what I'm saying? Captivate. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to do so. I hope y'all come out and, and show your support. You go to my website, seductive-art.com, and get all the information and purchase the tickets and find out more about me and all that old shit. And also, y'all know what to do. If I resonate with you, please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. Um, and y'all know how we lead this motherfucker. Be kind, be gracious. Be, be kind, be gracious, be focused, be on time. Be loving. Black people be black and proud. Be a part of your motherfucking community. Be about your motherfucking money. Be um, great at what you great at. Be a great lover. Be um, flamboyant. Be in the now. Uh, be one with God. Be, be happy. Be conscious. Be aware. Um, just be all these great things. Be generous. Be we pushing P around this motherfucker, man. Po positivity. So, or, oh, wait, I forgot about this. Be assertive, be opinionated, uh, all that shit. But the most important thing that you should be, you always be you. Until we meet again, y'all have a great one. Peace.